Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today we're going to discuss whether or not a short season would be more beneficial to the White Sox than a full season would be. Make my day. And uh, I would say, in my opinion, it is. A shorter season is actually more beneficial for the White Sox and I would say that's for the following basically three reasons. The first reason is that uh, Michael Kopech who is a great young starter with electric stuff for the White Sox will actually be available for most, if not all, of the season. And so will Carlos Rodon. Now, whether or not that's, um, whether or not the White Sox start the season with both or even one of them in the rotation remains to be seen. Because they could have a rotation, they could have a five, a, a, an excellent five man rotation without Kopech and um, and Rodon, but that gives them more depth and, uh, and, and Kopech, like I said, is, I mean, Kopech potentially is the best pitcher they have, unless, you know, maybe, maybe Giolito's better if Giolito can actually build on what he did last year and show that that's the pitcher he really is. But he's got to be in their top two or three starting pitchers. And if you got him all season, as opposed to if the season started in March, you know, maybe he would not have been able to start the season with the White Sox. And certainly Rodon would not have been able to start the season with the White Sox if it had started in March. He would have had to wait until after the All-Star break, which is the time period we're in about right now. So those two being available for the rotation gives it more depth and uh, also gives it, a, you know, like I said, a nice young electric starter that they might be able to pitch the entire season in the rotation. The uh, second reason why I think a short season benefits the White Sox is they have a lot of young guys, um, particularly guys that haven't been seen yet at the major league level, like Mendick and Madrigal. Well, Mendick's been seen a little bit, but um, Madrigal and Lewis Robert and um, Jimenez played last season, pretty much all season, um, but still they're young guys and this is less of a chance for their young players to be picked apart by scouting by other teams. Over a longer season, scouts would have a better chance to find the holes in the swings of the players, their, their downsides, their um, whatever, Achilles heels, whatever you want to call it. Those won't be as readily identifiable in a quick 60 game season. And then that brings us to the third reason that I think a th short season benefits the White Sox, and that's depth. Although the White Sox do have depth at certain positions like catcher, uh, you have McCann behind, um, uh, behind Yasmani Grandal, and you also have Yerman uh, Mercedes. It's a good catching crew, but in a long season, I mean, clearly the better, the best catcher they have is Grand Dahl. And in a long season, a regular long 162 game season, Grand Dahl's gonna need rest, he might get injured, he might miss significant time. In a 60 game season, he won't. Same thing for Encarnacion at DH. Even though he's just gonna be the DH, he um, could have missed a lot of time and the White Sox would have had to scramble to uh, duplicate or fill in his production 
for times that he would be missing, but in a 60-game season, he may not be injured at all. Or for not even, you know, 10% of the season, 10 or 15% of the season. So the depth issue makes it um, better for the White Sox. For some of their veteran players, like Encarnacion, like Abreu, like um, like Grandall, who may not need anybody to step in for them and could play really as much as they wanted them to play. So that's also a benefit. Now I know I realize a few of these things. That's I mean that's basically um, the the benefit list that I've got for the White Sox, and I realize a lot of these things will apply to other teams, particularly the the depth issue with their veterans. But, you know, not every team is as young as the White Sox. So their younger players, and especially if Andrew Vaughn plays, not everybody has players that haven't, you know, that could be key players who haven't even been seen yet and who scouts would have to scramble to try to figure out the weaknesses for. Um, and not every team has starting pitchers as good as Kopech and Rodon who um, would have missed significant time in a regular 162 game season but now will be available for most of the season. So what do you guys think? I um, think those are valid reasons why the White Sox might benefit from a 60 game season. Um, do you think they're valid reasons? Do you think there are other reasons? Do you think there are reasons they won't um, that you know that actually work against them in a 60 game shortened season? I'd be interested to know. Leave a comment below. Give me a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. But that's what I got right now. Sportsman Z Bob Zolke signing off.